We're really excited today because we have a brand new piano from Schimmel. It's the Friedelin F121, an incredible product at an incredible price point, completely designed by Schimmel in Germany, manufactured by Pearl River in China, and just an incredible sounding playing instrument. Really excited to show you guys. Let's take a listen and talk about what makes this such a special piano. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in beautiful downtown San Antonio, Texas. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, check out our other videos, sign up for notifications, like our videos, leave us comments. We appreciate your support and we love to interact with you. First things first, you said it's built like a tank. This is the heaviest upright piano I've ever had to move. It is very, very hefty. <laughs> um, and, and some of, it, some of the, the reasons are reasons we love. So right off the bat, when we were looking at this, first it was packaged incredibly well. Um, coming out of the box, packaged like a very high-end piano. Like, to, you know, like it was, a grand piano. Yeah, right. it was wrapped in like, you know, protective sheets that, that were weather, you know, yeah, from any weather or humidity. Had molded, posted in there. And just really packaged well. No, you know that it has a lot of care when it comes out of the box, ready to, to you know, be shown on the floor. Um, and just an incredible sounding and playing instrument. But the back posts, there's six of them. Six, and they're like four by fours. Yeah, they're super heavy, hefty, and... Uh, and, you know, you compare it to, like, U1s and, and K300s, and it's interesting because I think they this... four. Yeah, the U1 definitely has four back posts on it. Um, and I think maybe recently they've added a fifth, but, but really kind of just shows the, the attention to craftsmanship when it comes to building an excellent instrument. Same scale design as uh, a 121 Schimmel piano. So uh, really the, the mindset behind Schimmel in creating this product... Uh, is how do we create a value at a price point but still maintain our excellent craftsmanship. And it's obvious when you read their marketing materials that their, their target goal was to make their own best version of a U1 that they could. They were really after, what, the K200 in the, from Kauai and the U1? Or they were, well, after the, they were after that market. Well, yeah, so, that, so that's, that's a very um, attractive price point for buyers because, you know, it's right around that eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 price point. Um, and if you can offer something with a 10-year warranty that plays and sounds great um, and can compete with the, the behemoths of that right. price point, which are Yamaha and Kawhi, um, creating a value thing like this is you know, very attractive, um, but not sacrificing quality. And I think the whole reason we actually have this is because uh, a couple years ago, um, Pearl River went the way of Yamaha and purchased a luxury brand. So Yamaha uh, bought Pusendorfer in uh, um, you know, early 2000, 2008, 2007. Sh uh, Schimmel was having similar issues as Bosendorfer and you know, it's really hard to maintain a luxury item that uh, is very quality, but you know, only a certain amount of people can afford. Correct. And so Pearl River came along and purchased Schimmel and said, hey, we want to inject some cash into, um, into you, the brand Schimmel, and we're not going to mess with anything. They, they took a note, note out of Yamaha's book, and they said, we're not going to touch anything. You guys keep making your fantastic product because people love it. People, you know, they, here right. in Texas, too, people really love Schimmel. It's, it's um, a great German brand from 1885. You have a hard time getting anyone that owns a Schimmel to get out of a Schimmel into something else. Yeah, we've had customers That's find really great Schimmels over the years. Um, but it's, yeah, and so they injected cash into Schimmel and said, hey, we want to use, um, we want to come together. And, and, uh, and Schimmel had uh, their second tier brand out of Poland. Um, it's w Wilhelm. Win yeah, Wilhelm. Um, and uh, it, incredible product out of Poland. And that's kind of that second tier price point, but still uh, a European brand, still going to be very expensive um, to, you know, the everyday consumer. And so Pearl River says, hey, let's create something in China, in our factory, Schimmel designs it. We use the specs that you guys have on the 121, on your 123, on all these on these products, and let's build it to spec here in China. And so what do they do? They use German strings, they use German hammers, um, a lot of great designs, the six back post, built a lot more sturdy than you know traditional Pearl River pianos. Right. Um, and so not only does it increase, you know, 
Schimmel's brand by having this this price point, but it also increases Pearl River, and they're going to add the you know they're going to add some of these design elements into their Rip Mueller lines. The finish on it is is flawless. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful finish for uh, you know. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with any of the other Chinese imported pianos, but for one, for this one here, it just looks like it's it's a pro-made instrument. It's yeah, just phenomenal. it's incredible. So let's let's take a listen to it. We'll, we won't talk too much about it, but let's take a listen to it and then talk about some of the really cool design features that Schimmel and Pearl River came together to make the Friedolin. Um, and so let's take a listen to it.
Patrick, after I played this piano and, and the other one, I had to go check and find out what it is with the action that makes it, because I love the way this thing plays. It's so well balanced, uh, even up in the register, and the response is really good. The one thing I did notice, though, is I had to open a lid a little bit to let some of that sound out, because the box is really tight. It just keeps a lot of sound in it, and just open it up a little bit, and you can actually feel a lot more expression in it. But I do love the way that they, they've got the key bed and the action, everything is balanced, and it's just so rock solid. Mm -hmm. It's a lot like playing um, a, a grand piano with, with kind of a medium to, to light action in it. And I really enjoyed playing it. It, it plays really well, it responds well. Yeah, it's got great sound. I, I noticed it's, it's a very familiar feel to you know similar price points. We've carried Kawhi, we've carried Yamaha, um, the U1, the K300. You get that very solid feel. They use all maple action in, uh, in the Friedelin, just like on Schimmel's. Um, and again, the German hammers, the German strings. They use triple A spruce on the soundboard. So your soundboard is um, you know, where you're gonna be getting a lot of your resonance, a lot of your depth, a lot of your sound. Um, and so you get the highest level spruce on the back of this really kind of makes a difference from some of those other manufacturers that don't use that high, it's got high quality. It's a great, well-rounded piano tone mm -hmm. too. It. It's got a really great tone as opposed to some of the other comparative pianos that they tried to go after that market. To me, some of those sound a little brighter a little thinner in tone. This has mm -hmm. a phenomenal tone. And on an F-121, I think MSRP is right under about $9,000. It's in the $8,000 range. Uh, it's got a slow closed lid, which is a cool feature. That's not something you see normally on, on, uh, on these types of pianos that are in this price range. So slow closed lid. Um, nickel hardware is really nice on it as well. Uh, I do, uh, it comes with a really cool box. That, uh, oh, yeah. yeah that, that's just like a nice little... Box of chocolates almost is what it looks like. And it's like a nice, it's just packaged well. Um, information on Schimmel, couple of reminder cards, got your warranty, warranty number and all that. It's got a humidifier check, to check your humidity. Four casters, one for each wheel. And then you have a humidifier. And then underneath you pick this up to the next layer of chocolates and you get a polishing cloth, a key cover, and a piano blanket covers the whole thing. It's got this nice little fringe on it. It's just like, it's a very it's nice a design. Nice it's nice little cushiony thing. They get and, and I think through all this, the thing I've noticed about this piano is they really paid attention to the small details. Um, and they said, how do we create the best instrument at this price range? Um, and so just a really cool instrument from you know, Pearl River from Schimmel, Friedelin, um, a newer brand. I think in the last couple of years it had it was announced at one of the at the NAM show, and uh, we just got our first shipment of them in recently. But a really cool price point, a really cool instrument, um, and really worth playing, especially if you're looking for a new instrument. It gives you more of a you know European tone, European feel at the price point of some of these Japanese you know, behemoths of the industry, the Yamahas and the Kawais of the world. First thing you notice when you sit down and touch it and play it is that it's like a quality instrument. It just strikes you like, wow, this thing sounds and plays great. Mm -hmm. And just, yeah, again, very solidly built, very heavy. Um, the plate is, is fantastically very full. If you look at, if you, we opened it up a little bit and, and looked at the plate, it's, you know, it fills up the, a lot of the instrument. Um, and just solid design. The only downside to it is that in this region, the Friedelin is not well known as a name mm -hmm. or that it's even manufactured by Schimmel. So hopefully we get enough of them in here we can move them. Yeah. And as people become aware of them, they're going to really like these pianos. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, designed by Schimmel. We actually had a, a piano teacher uh, purchase one of these, traded in her Yamaha P22 that she had had for a couple years. She said, I love the way this plays. I love the way it sounds. It's different than the Yamaha sound. It's different than the Kawhi sound. So really something to kind of expand if you're in this price range, expand what you might be looking for. Um, and I think that's a home run. Um, so the F-121, we will be reviewing it against the F-123 and we'll have a video on the 123. So make sure you're subscribed to check out those videos. Um, we're really excited about playing those and having them as a comparison. Ted Barcelou, I'm Patrick Marr. We're with the Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Find us online at alamomusic.com where you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.